Have you ever felt the overwhelming burden of emotional attachment? Feeling trapped in a cycle of attachment that seems impossible to break free from? It's a common struggle that can leave you feeling powerless and stuck. But here's the silver lining change. is not only possible, but well within your reach. Drawing wisdom from ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, we will uncover the key to mastering the art of detachment and breaking free from the emotional chains that bind us. In this transformative video, we will explore the profound principles of Stoicism to guide you on a journey towards emotional freedom. By applying these timeless teachings, you will discover practical and healthy strategies to detach from someone or something that weighs heavily on your mind. Say goodbye to the mental shackles of attachment and embrace a newfound sense of clarity and focus on what truly matters in your life. If you believe in the power of personal growth and are ready to break free from the chains of emotional attachment, then this video is for you. Let's begin. Rule 1. The Power of Detachment Think of emotional detachment like unplugging yourself from a power socket. It's about disconnecting from the emotional hold someone or something has on you, or something has on you, reclaiming sovereignty over your own feeling. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher, once said, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. What he's emphasizing is that the source of your distress isn't the external situation or person. It's your interpretation and reaction to it. You possess the inherent ability to reassess and modify how you perceive and respond to external stimuli. So, when you find yourself overwhelmed or hurt by someone's actions or words, remember that you're in control. You have the agency to determine the extent to which they impact your emotional state. You're not obligated to grant them power over your inner peace or mental well-being. Detachment empowers you to set boundaries and safeguard your emotional equilibrium. Rule 2. Understanding Attachment Think of attachment like a heavy chain that binds you to someone or something, restricting your freedom and dictating your actions and emotions. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher, once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way? It comes the way. In this context, he suggests that the obstacles we face in life are not hindrances but opportunities for growth and development. Attachment, in essence, becomes one of those obstacles, obstructing our path to self-mastery and inner peace. So, instead of viewing attachment as a source of security or comfort, it's essential to recognize it as a limitation. Understand that by clinging too tightly to people, possessions, or expectations, you inhibit your ability to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. By acknowledging and loosening these emotional chains, you liberate yourself to embrace life's challenges with resilience and courage. Detachment doesn't mean indifference. It means freeing yourself from the constraints of attachment to live more authentically and fully, more authentically and fully. Rule 3. The Illusion of the Ego Picture the ego as a delicate glass bubble, enclosing your sense of self. It's a fragile construct easily shattered by the slightest impact of external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher, famously remarked, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In these words, he reminds us of the distinction between our internal state and external events. While we may not control the world around us, we have the power to shape our responses and perceptions. This insight challenges the illusion of the ego, which often seeks validation and security from external sources. So, 
Instead of allowing your ego to dictate your actions and reactions, it's crucial to cultivate a deeper understanding of your true self. Recognize that the pursuit of external validation and adherence to societal norms only perpetuates the illusion of the ego. True strength emerges from within, from nurturing resilience and self-awareness, independent of external influences. Detachment from the ego's demands enables you to find authentic fulfillment and inner peace. Rule 4. Detachment in Practice Imagine detachment as a skill akin to a muscle that strengthens with regular exercise. It demands ongoing effort and dedication to refine and master. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Sage, aptly remarked, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This profound insight underscores the importance of mindfulness and conscious thought in shaping our inner world. Our thoughts, like dye, color the fabric of our soul, influencing our emotions and actions. Instead of allowing yourself to be swept away by the ebb and flow of transient emotions and desires, strive for mindfulness and self-awareness. Cultivate the practice of observing your thoughts without attachment or judgment, allowing them to come and go like clouds, drifting across the sky through consistent effort and practice. You can develop the resilience and inner peace necessary to navigate life's challenges with equanimity and grace. Detachment is not a passive state, but an active choice. One that empowers you to transcend the fluctuations of external circumstances and find serenity within. Rule 5. The Path to Happiness Reflect on happiness, not as an end goal, but as an ongoing journey, a state of being that emanates from within, irrespective of external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, the venerable Stoic philosopher, profoundly noted, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. These words encapsulate the essence of true happiness emphasizing that it originates from our mindset and perspective rather than material possessions or external validations. Instead of incessantly chasing after fleeting external pleasures or elusive achievements, redirect your focus inward. Cultivate a sense of gratitude for the simple yet profound blessings of the present moment. Embrace the richness of life's experiences, finding joy in the beauty of nature, the warmth of human connections, and the serenity of solitude. Furthermore, prioritize practices that nurture inner peace and contentment, such as mindfulness, compassion, and self-reflection. Engage in acts of kindness towards yourself and others fostering a sense of interconnectedness and purpose. By consciously choosing to cultivate happiness from within, you liberate yourself from the shackles of external expectations and unlock the boundless potential for fulfillment and joy in every moment of existence. Rule 6. Embracing Impermanence Contemplate the profound truth that everything in life is impermanent. Relationships, emotions, and circumstances are all subject to the relentless passage of time. Marcus Aurelius, the venerable Stoic philosopher, eloquently expressed this sentiment. Time is a sort of river of passing events, and strong as its current. No sooner is a thing brought to sight than it is swept by, and another takes its place. In these words, he encapsulates the transient nature of existence, highlighting the perpetual flow of life's events. Instead of clinging desperately to the illusion of permanence, embrace the inherent impermanence of all things. Recognize that change is not only inevitable, 
but also essential for growth and renewal. By embracing impermanence, you free yourself from the burden of attachment and open yourself to the beauty of each fleeting moment. Rule 7. Cultivating Equanimity Aspire to cultivate equanimity, an inner balance and steadiness of mind that remains unperturbed amidst life's myriad fluctuations. Drawing wisdom from Marcus Aurelius, who proclaimed the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly. We are reminded of the profound influence our thoughts have on our well-being. By guarding our thoughts and cultivating mindfulness, we can shape our inner landscape and foster a state of equanimity. Rather than allowing ourselves to be swept away by the tumultuous currents of external events, we can anchor ourselves in the present moment. Through mindful awareness of our thoughts and emotions, we can observe them with detachment, neither clinging to moments of joy nor resisting periods of adversity. In cultivating equanimity, we discover an abiding sense of peace that transcends the transient nature of external circumstances. Rule 8. Finding Meaning in Adversity In the face of adversity, endeavor to discover meaning and purpose, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who proclaimed, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. We are reminded that obstacles are not barriers, but gateways to transformation. Adversity, far from being a source of despair, can serve as a catalyst for personal development and resilience. Instead of succumbing to defeat in the face of adversity, embrace as a teacher on the journey of life. Each challenge presents an opportunity to cultivate courage, perseverance, and wisdom by reframing adversity as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. We empower ourselves to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and resilience. In conclusion, the Stoic principles outlined here offer invaluable insights into navigating the complexities of human emotion and experience. By embracing the power of detachment, understanding the limitations of attachment, and transcending the illusion of the ego, we can cultivate inner resilience and find true happiness within ourselves. Through practice and perseverance, we can learn to embrace impermanence, cultivate equanimity, and find meaning in adversity. In doing so, we unlock the potential for profound personal growth and transformation, embracing life's challenges as opportunities for self, discovery, and fulfillment. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, true strength lies not in controlling external events, but in mastering our own thoughts and perceptions. May these stoic principles serve as a guiding light on your journey towards inner peace and enlightenment.